Hey everyone, so we're coming at you from inside the garage again. As you can see behind me, we got the uh, the sleds all unloaded from the trailer. Uh, they haven't, haven't been cleaned yet, but you know, another late start to it, but we probably won't be doing any riding up north. But last, uh, last year when we put these away, there's a couple things I wanted to address uh, first thing this year. So a uh, little tail of the take, that's a 2011 CFR 800 HO. Um, it's got about 4,000 miles on it. I'd say a solid 2,500 of those, maybe 3,000 are dragging across the lake. So I have this, uh, all I took all the suds out. We're gonna be putting at some point new uh, ice. I think there are the lake racer studs in there to carbide tip, so uh, we could run the stock 800 class. But yep, this is a stock machine, nice and clean for uh, for a 2011. But this one's that one's pretty much all set to go. Initially, I thought we we're gonna have to do the uh, get the injectors cleaned on it, but it started right up this year So we'll see how uh, we'll see how it plays out But right now the only thing I got to do with the with this one is throw the clutches back on maybe make a few adjustments stud the track and we'll be Be good to take that to any events to, to hit the ice with This sled here is a 2001 ZR 800 You can see how nice that that hood looks I picked this one up a couple years ago. I just, I always had, a, always had an affection for this, uh, this chassis and style. This sled here has 800 original miles on it. A little over 800 now. This one's real clean too. So what I was noticing with this one is actually a couple of years because we didn't we didn't do anything with them last year except uh, you know take take them out of the trailer check on them and then put them back in see what we had to had to do for maintenance but this one um, two years ago when we were riding it I noticed a little bit of I thought it was water leaking from the heat exchanger underneath um, but it, it was actually I think a slow fuel leak so we got to make some take take this apart and. Take a quick look at the carbs, uh, make sure those are clean. I'm not sure if it's, you know, a, a float being stuck open or if it's uh, a hose that needs to be replaced. You know, this fuel's pretty pretty rough on them. But so that's uh, that's what we have for for this video. It'll probably be um, probably be a two parter. But yeah, I, they're not they're not brand new, but they they sure do look pretty good for being. Being 10 years old and 20 years old, it's actually coming up on the 20 year anniversary of, of this one. So, suspension's nice and clean, all original. So, both these are, both these 800s are stock. So, hope we'll get some footage this year of showing you what they can do to some of the, some of the newer sleds. It's, uh, it'll be fun. All right, so first step is to, to get this air box taken care of. So we'll pull, we'll pull this off. Um, there's a couple screws. I think most of this stuff should be loose from, from last year, but so we'll let the time lapse take over from here and uh, pick you back up when we're a little closer.
So we have the, uh, we got the air box out. And down to the carbs. Um, so I think what we're gonna do first is, I wanna, I have a suspicion that it may not be, we gotta clean the carbs anyway, but it, I think that there's, I think these ho hoses are a little old. And I think there's a, a crack in the, the hose. Luckily the fuel tank's already already drained. There's nothing there's nothing in there. So the next step is you know pulling these pulling these off and we'll take a closer look. Got the uh, the carbs out, so got them on a bench right now. This uh, the saga is not going to be completed in one night, so take everything out and uh, get a parts list together. Dig into them, see what we what we need. So I did pull out all the fuel lines. The fuel lines are all hard. There's not like yeah. pretty much. Uh, shot so the oil injection lines always still seem like they got life to them i don't see any any issues any issues with those um, everybody everybody knows the you know the fuel with the ethanol and it. it's pretty pretty rough online so we're gonna get this get this cleaned up ready to go if we get the the parts in and everything we need we'll get this thrown back together bring you along for that hopefully it's uh, something you enjoyed Definitely not too, you know, taking everything apart is not too hard. Um, I'm sure you saw in the, the, the video, it's a, a screwdriver, an adjustable, and 716 socket pretty much uh, took care of you know, everything you needed to, to pull this apart. The um, thing that took the longest is wrangling in the boys and, and trying to locate a razor to cut the fuel lines off, but uh, I guess that's part of the territory when you have two little, two little kids running around the garage misplacing everything, but uh, or at least that's gonna be my excuse. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe.